採取しておいた長谷川うつつの精子と長谷川夢の卵子を準備してちょうだいえ化け物の子を宿すわところでこの子たちが会いたがっているの自分たちのパパとママに体に食い込む妹の熾烈彼女の腹に流し込まれる肉片Alright, whoever came up with this series is very emotionally disturbed. But then so am I for watching this. So let's get started with me complaining about this randomness I just saw. And now you all also get to see it too for those of you who haven't seen this monstrosity. So here's the general plot I got from Google. I suppose you can call whatever you're gonna see a plot, but here it is. The story of Pupa is about two teenagers, Utsutsu and his little sister Yume. Their father was an extremely abusive man, beating their mother and then his children after he was fired. After the divorce, their mother began dating another man and the father left the two kids alone. Now abandoned, Utsutsu promised himself that he would always protect Yume. But after seeing some red butterflies, these two siblings become infected with a virus known as Pupa. This virus mutates organisms into insatiable monsters only seeking to feed on any sort of life. Yume does succumb to the full effects of the pupa virus but was able to revert back to her human form. Her brother on the other hand though, Utsutsu, instead of turning into a monster, gains regenerative powers. In order for the virus to be suppressed in Yume, Utsutsu must take a drug and have Yume feed on his flesh. Cannibalism in anime is not as grotesque in real life, so it's always interesting to see how it's animated. Considering how the darkest series always consists of someone eating someone else's flesh, this wasn't too new for me, and the summary sounded almost legit. But seeing the episodes were only 4 to 5 minutes long and the ending taking up half the time, even the animators knew this series wasn't going to make it far. The actual series itself though was really messed up. The main problem with the series is not the cannibalism because the girls gotta eat. I mean, Yume is not human anymore, so it's pretty obvious that she's going to eat the next thing on the food chain. This being us, the humans. She obviously knows that the thing she's done is wrong, but you can't go against animal instincts or whatever the thing that she is. But you want to know what is wrong with the series? It's the blatant intent to show how much these two siblings love each other. Mind you, this is not in your regular brother or sister way. You may definitely sees her brother more than just siblings. <sighs> この施設に来てからも、でも大丈夫だよ。お兄ちゃんが守ってくれるから、私、もう化け物でも大丈夫。美味しい。お兄ちゃん。夢が食後に見せる表情がたまらなく好きだ。お兄ちゃん、やっと
So there's this other character who shows up out of nowhere, but apparently he's the creature we see at the end of the anime. He actually has another half who sacrificed themselves to the scientists so that he can get away. There were beings that existed before time and often slept, only waking up to feed on things. This was both animals and humans. They do this by disguising themselves as their food, and when it is time, they revert back to their true form to consume the flesh. They don't really have genders, but they associate themselves with he and she. Their true forms look like bugs, and I am very uncomfortable with that, so I'm gonna move on. Somehow, our favorite pair of siblings ended up on an island. One in her monster form, and the other is trying to find her to bring her back home. At this very moment, you may forget her human self and in the meanwhile, her brother gets to know the stranger who brought them to the island. The reason that he did this was because he wants his other half that is apparently Yume to remember him again. This is because he doesn't have much time left and would like to be reunited with them before his time is up. And Utsutsu being there was supposed to lure Yume out so that she could remember everything from her past to her present. In which she does and she reverts back to a human. This is when things turn even worse. Her brother decides to eat the new dude, rest in peace new guy, and gets weirder by craving his flesh being eaten. The feeding spree goes on for quite a while until it's his turn to crave the flesh of a living creature due to the pupa cells. And the closest thing being his sister because they were doing their usual thing before things turned sour. But before he eats his sister, he gains control of his appetite by eating a bit of himself. So his big brother game is going strong. Then their father catches up to them and they have a fight. Yume almost dies from a fatal shot, but her brother asks his dad his first and only favor, that is to bring his sister back alive. In which he does because Utsutsu is his flesh and blood and there is still some human decency buried deep inside of him. But this does not mean that psycho researchers like Maria won't catch up to them either. Said crazy bitch goes all pupa on them and tries to absorb the siblings. At first it seems like she got Yume but we're good because Utsutsu manages to eat away the cells of Maria who was trying to take over Yume. <laughs> it's here that we realize Yume once did remember her life before she was Yume. Back then, she was still the pupa and she did not act like a child and this creeped the mother out, making her leave the family. This is when pupa Yume ventured out to ongoing traffic and Utsutsu, not wanting to be alone, followed her. So he suffered from fatal wounds from the traffic and was almost dying. One car accident later, Yume feeds her flesh to her human brother to keep him from dying. That is why Utsutsu doesn't die no matter how many times he's fed on and always regenerate because at the time, he was not pupa nor was he human. Eventually, Yume does win back her body and regains consciousness but Utsutsu is slowly losing himself to the pupa cells and is slowly becoming more pupa than human. So once they were together again, they decided it's better to become one and turned into the red butterflies. Never separating again, they decided to travel the world and continue to love each other as brother and sister. Whoa, remind me to reevaluate my life choices because this was something I never imagined myself getting into. But thank you for watching this video, hope you enjoyed listening to this horror show. Meanwhile, you can check out my other stuff too. Here's to having a good one. Bye!